At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by... Healthcare Partners and Humana. News 46 is also brought to you by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. Located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160, you can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500 or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News is also brought to you by Barry Levinson and Associates. Pahrump's Bankruptcy Center. When it comes to important matters like bankruptcy, call an experienced, compassionate attorney. Call the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. Call 775-727-4747. News is also brought to you by Tire Works Total Car Care. Not your typical tire and service company. Guaranteed lowest prices on tires. Your one-stop shop for all automotive needs. Call 775-751-6100 or 702-365-TIRE. Tonight on News 46, rebel robbery suspect Donald Deloney is arrested. A weekend craft fair is held to help with holiday shopping. And a man finds a creative way to sell his books. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Friday, December 9th, 2011. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Donald Ray Deloney has been captured. With the assistance of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, Donald Deloney is now in custody. Nye County Sheriff's Office general assignment detectives received dozens of tips from the public of possible locations of the 57-year-old Deloney. Acting on these tips, detectives located Deloney in Las Vegas. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department responded promptly and took Deloney into custody without incident. The Nye County Sheriff's Office would like to thank the public for the outpouring of information provided to the Nye County Sheriff's Office to assist in getting Deloney off the street. Deloney was booked into the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center on the arrest warrant for robbery at, at the Rebel One on State Route 160 on Tuesday morning. His bail has been set at $25,000. His charges include robbery, burglary, kidnapping, and grand larceny. KPVM received a call from Deloney's former wife, Veronica Davis Deloney, who wants the public to know that her ex-husband deserves the benefit of the doubt. And if he did do this, then he deserves to be punished. She also pointed out that he has not been in trouble for at least 10 years. He has also current mental health issues, and she wanted to point out that there is no gun in the video footage. She will be speaking to us on Monday's newscast. She also reminded us that News 46 interviewed them last year along with Donald Deloney and the whole family. And folks, Joyce Baker has died this morning following her husband, Bob, who passed away on October 21st. They were both leaders in our community and were a happily married couple who will always be admired for their devotion to each other, their family, and the community. The Bakers moved to Pahrump in 1996, joining the Chamber of Commerce and beginning the United Way chapter in Pahrump, as well as beginning the Wild West extravaganza. They both will be deeply missed. And here's part two with Richard Steinke, president and CEO of Windsail Receptors Incorporated, who is opening a plant right here in Pahrump. The bigger question is going to be creating a bigger, better apple. You now have the worries of the bigger companies thinking that, you know, we got to take you off the market, so let's buy them out. Well, they offer me enough money, uh, they can buy me out, but... Uh, I want to maintain control of all the R&D and I want to maintain control of where the uh, uh, parts are made. Why so they shut it down? Well, I'm not going to let them shut it down or I wouldn't make a deal. Okay. 
So it's quite, I want all our technologies I invented to be out there for the world. This is not just for the United States. This is for the world. It's for all the people that don't have, uh, can't afford uh, coal burning uh, 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 boilers and uh, don't have the money for nuclear. They don't have the money for these other things. They don't have natural gas and oil. That's a lot of parts in the world. And so that means that somebody has to come up with something that's uh, alternative energy that's cost efficient for these people. And that's what we've got. So, you know, I'm not interested in, in actually selling out unless the people uh, put the product into the marketplace. It doesn't do me any good to invent these things for the welfare of all the people if, if, uh, if we, they don't come to the marketplace. But all the products that I have invented are in the marketplace, but uh, my air pollution system, which uh, I think is the best thing in the world, and you can actually uh, run coal, and I take out everything, SO2, SO3, NOx, VOCs, and, and CO2. Uh, they're util utilizing that technology in China. Uh, I've got uh, the technologies to replace rubber. I mean, I've already passed the DOT testing uh, for urethane tires. And not only that is, my tires are safer, they last longer and more recyclable and, and uh, don't hurt the environment whatsoever. And so rubber, of course, you know, does. So. Um, but now, what's so strange about what I've invented is, is that even the tire. Who wants the, uh, the uh, tire technology? China. I just got, I've uh, been back and forth to China about five or six times the last six months. And uh, the Chinese government has assigned a certain company uh, to me over there. And they want to go forward with the car tire. And it's pathetic that that is going to be done in China, not the United States. And it's not my fault. It is the, the companies in the United States where you get companies, major companies, and they're not entrepreneurs running those companies. Those companies are actually run by caretakers. So that's some of the problems in the United States. And uh, you see the smaller companies growing, uh, especially in electronics and everything else, and they're not the old companies. They're all new companies today. And you know why? Because they have entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs, I just happen to be an entrepreneur, uh, a technology person. So, you know, what I, I we raised our own money uh, in, in all the technologies I developed in the United States. I never got one cent from the government. I've done everything uh, through private enterprise. To view the extended version of this interview, you can go to kpbm.tv or KPBM's YouTube page. And Folk Symphony Animal Foundation will be in the parking lot of the Prompt Nugget all weekend long. We are here at the Search and Rescue Building for Symphony Animal Foundation's blowout sale, which they held this weekend. We're going to speak to Lorraine Russo-Harper and Sean South and a special guest. We have a little girl that we have been trying to adopt out for about a month. We've had her for a month. We found her, her brothers and sisters, and her mom in a dumpster in Prim. Oh, wow. So we took the whole family, and this is the last little pup to be adopted, and Sean has adopted her, and she's going to have a wonderful home. She's so happy. How old do you think she is? We think she's probably about two, two and a half months. Wow. Yeah. She's great. Sean, tell me why you decided to adopt her. Well, I just, I love animals, and the minute I saw her, I wanted to be with her. <laughs> She's a cutie pie. She's going to be a big dog and a wonderful dog. And of course, Symphony Animal Foundation here. We're at the um, thrift store um, blowout here at Search and Rescue. We are. We have a one day sale and it is a sale of all sales. Everything is at blowout prices. Pants are one dollar. Tops are 50 cents. Jackets are two dollars. So you got to come down. We got a lot of stuff. We even have 45 records for you record collectors. So this is wonderful. You, This is all helping animals. We haven't got a name for her, but she is so affectionate and so loving. What a wonderful thing. We do. We are going to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to have a craft show and a bake sale. And we actually have some pet items, some dog and cat items and horse items. So uh, do your Christmas shopping for your pets out at the Nugget. We'll have a booth out there. Of course, we'll take donations. We're always looking for volunteers. So there's a number of ways you can help us. If you can't help monetarily, we can sure use your help in volunteer services. And what day is this going to be held? It starts Friday, and uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I believe it goes from 9 in the morning to 5 in the evening. 
And for more information on Symphony Animal Foundation, how can they get in touch with you or our website? They can go to our website, which is symphonyanimalfoundation.org. They can give me a call at 702-528-4997. They can email me at safanimals at aol.com. Or, you know, I'm always at Best Western in Wolfie, so stop on in and see me. And, of course, we'll see you down there at the Prump Nugget this next weekend for another sale where you can pick up your holiday gifts. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And as we head into our first break this evening, here's Jeff Simmons at the Prump Nugget to tell us what's going on all weekend. Hi, I'm Jeff Simmons here at the Prump Nugget Hotel Casino. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. It's coming up real soon. Uh, we do have every Friday and Saturday night here in the casino. We have uh, cash drawings at the 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's $250 each drawing. And then at the 9 o'clock, we'll have up to $10,000 in cash. So come on down, get lucky, win up to $10,000. Uh, we've got American Made on our stage bar uh, tonight, Friday night and Saturday night from 7 to midnight. And we also have a craft show out in the parking lot this weekend. Um, started Thursday and it's going to run through Sunday afternoon. We've got a carnival, so bring the kids down. They'll have a great time. And bingo. Okay, I got uh, still got seats left for my 40 game special. Uh, it's a seventy dollar buy in. We play 40 games. All the games pay 150 into 250 with two one thousand dollar coveralls. We'll have a nice plate of dinner. To, we'll be serving and also have some cash drawings. And we'll have the party favors. We'll have uh, the, all the blowers, the hats, and all that good stuff. And we'll have champagne. We'll be serving at each table. So come on down, sign up for our 40 game special. And as usual, I got my lower buy-ins every day at the 11 and 1 p.m. And no split pots at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. So come on down. Have a great time here at the Nugget. Looking forward to seeing you. News 46 is brought to you by... Southwest Medical Associates. Their health care center is now open in your neighborhood. Southwest Medical Associates, now that's powerful medicine. Welcome back to News 46. Along with Symphony Animal Foundation will be many other vendors selling very interesting crafts all weekend long at the Prump Nugget. If you think that there's no shopping here in Pahrump, well, we have a shopping location for you right here in front of the Prump Nugget. There's vendors from all over, including locals here in Pahrump. We're going to speak to Gwen. It's our annual Christmas uh, fair. We're here to give people a chance to buy unique gift items for Christmas. We have vendors from here in Pahrump, Las Vegas, Henderson, we have one from Provo, Utah, five from Arizona, one from Shiprock, New Mexico, and even one from uh, Alaska. Wow, this is gonna be fabulous. People can pick up some gifts for the holidays as well as help these local small businesses yeah. and businesses that came from other places. Yeah. And wonderful thing to bring these tourists into our town. We also have Davis Amusements out here. Yes, they're uh, the Prump Nugget figured while the adults are out shopping, give the kids something to do, give the rides, give the kids something to ride and all. And so tell me about how, what's the operating hours for the booths are? Okay, it's uh, all three days is from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. If it's real busy, we will stay past 6 p.m. We want to thank Gwen, the Prump Nugget, and of course, Davis Amusements. What a great way to get some shopping done for the holidays. This is Deanna O'Donnell at the Prump Nugget for News 46. And here's Irene at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue for this week's Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm here at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue and with me today I've got Shadow. Shadow's about three years old and he's a short-haired collie mix. He's fixed and he's had all of his shots and he's ready for adoption to a nice family. He's very frisky and uh, he'd make a good pet. So come and see him over at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue, 780 East Mance. Our phone number is 727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. 
To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. A low-cost veterinary clinic will be held this weekend at Shadow Mountain Feed on Bell Vista and Leslie. But that's not all that'll be happening. Tomorrow, Ron Cross tells us about a special guest that's stopping by. Yeah, winter's here, and not, now we're going to worry about keeping them warm. We have straw to put down for them. Of course, we have the winter blankets for the horses. We have heaters for the water tank, so if you want to keep your water tank from freezing, uh, we can do that. So, so this is really, that's really convenient because I know some of the animals' waters freeze up. And we, it isn't too serious here, the water will thaw out by noon, but if we could either make sure that they have fresh water or keep it warm, that's a very important part of the animal's life, you know. Exactly, and uh, the, the horse blankets are so wonderful to have here. Um, do animals switch feed a little bit differently, some animals in the wintertime? We actually try to keep our animals on pretty constant feed. Um, some people like to change their feet up a little bit. I just assume to keep them on the same thing year-round. And I know that we have a real special event coming up this Saturday. This Saturday is going to be a great day. The vet will be here from 9 until 2, giving all their animals, their cats and dogs, their shots. But, but more important than that, once a year, Santa Claus comes, and we, we will sign our feed contract with Santa Claus. He will be here, and he graciously will take a free picture with you, your pet, and Santa Claus. So bring your pets down, bring your dogs and your cats or, or your bunnies or your horses, bring them down and Santa Claus will pose with your pet and you'll get a free picture with your pet on Saturday, December 10th. So Dr. Flom will be here from nine until two and Santa at the same time? Dr. Flom and Santa have the same hours. There you go. So the, yes, they'll both be here from nine until two. Wonderful. So this is going to be fantastic and so much fun. And of course, Shadow Mountain Feed is the main location where Santa feeds his reindeer. A absolutely. We um, sell all of Santa's reindeer feed. So stop down. We have feed for all kinds of animals from, from reindeer to rabbits. So stop in and um, we'll take care of you. And where are we located? We're at the corner of Belle Vista and Leslie at Shadow Mountain Feed. What's the phone number? You can call Patty at 775-727-5527. Well, it's a unique way to sell your books that brings you back to the old days when people used to sell their wares traveling by wagon. Here at Shadow Mountain Feed on Bell Vista and Leslie, we ran into Howard West and friends about his Quicksilver Key book tour. Uh, this is my, my girl. This is Blue Pegasus. She left her prosthetic wings at home. <laughs> but uh, she's the, the guts and the heart of our little traveling dog and donkey show. I know that we, we also have your dog behind us. What's your dog's name? That's Ezekiel. He's an um, uh, Australian Shepherd, and he's the watchdog of the family. So what are you doing exactly? I write books, and I was having a big problem with people knowing that I existed. And as I told John last night, it's, it's, um, it's amazing where a good-looking ass can get you that nothing else can. And so... As I travel down the road, people see me, they say, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? And it leads into book sales and then gets me on the internet, on Twitter, uh, which I have under locked gates. Mm -hmm. And then people just mushroom off of that and it's starting to, to, sales are starting to pick up because of this little dog and donkey show. What's, what's your books that you've written? Well, I have three books. Uh, there's Quicksilver Key, mm -hmm. which is a soft cover available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Then I have another book called The Last Grand Adventure, a 6,000-mile wagon trek with six little burrows mm -hmm. and a wife. Mm -hmm. And that traveled throughout the, the greater Southwest. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do a little travel blog on that. That is only available through me when I'm on the road. Mm -hmm. And then there's The Locked Gates, which is an e-book. And it deals with uh, words that don't have the same meaning all the time. So people can find your books on Amazon. And uh, where are you traveling from here? Uh, I'll be going down to Baker, crossing into the great unknown. I've never been across that, that section of the world. So I'll be going to places that I haven't been to before. Where do you come from? Uh, 50 miles east of, of Tonopah, up in the mountains, a little ranch called Pilgrim Ranch and uh, we traveled here by the roads mm -hmm. and it's taken us about a month to get here from the time we left. For more information on Howard West, go on to his Twitter account, which is Locked Gates. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. 
And Anthony Greco and Kathy Rinaldi have been arraigned on first-degree arson charges related to an August 2010 house fire. They are accused of setting a fire at their home on Pahrump Valley Boulevard in order to collect on the home's insurance policy. According to the reports, the investigation began when sheriff's deputies responded to Rinaldi's home on August 19th of 2010 in reference to a burglary. Deputies noticed that parts of the hallway and ceiling were burned as well as damage to several doors at the residence. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue responded and conducted an initial fire investigation. Following that investigation, the Nevada State Fire Marshal's office was contacted and independently investigated and apparently found that the fire was intentional, according to their report. The investigation revealed in, report, in the report that mineral spirits were poured in the bathroom of the house and then ignited. Attempts to contact Mr. Greco for comment was unsuccessful. And folks, don't go anywhere because we're going to have Zach Fuentes with a look at your seven-day forecast coming up right after the break. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. News 46 weather is also brought to you by Humana. Welcome back to News 46. I'm Zach Fuentes here with your weather. We had sunny skies today and our high was at 60 degrees, a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. Our winds came out of the east at 3 miles per hour and our gusts were at up to 7 miles per hour. The pressure was holding steady at 30.30 .30, and our UV index is staying the same at 3 moderate. Humidity was up to 22% and our sunrise was at 6.43 a.m. And today's record was 73 degrees, 71 degrees, excuse me, back in 1975. Tonight we're going to have some mostly clear skies for the most part clear. Our low is going to be 26 degrees. The winds are going to come out of the north northeast at 3 miles per hour and the gusts are going to be at up to 5 miles per hour. Humidity looks like it's going to be at 39 percent and our sunset was at 429 p.m. Our record for tonight was 16 degrees back in 1956. Tomorrow we're going to have sunny skies once again. Our high is going to go down just a little bit at 58 degrees and our low is going to be at up to 25 degrees. The winds are going to come out of the southeast at 3 miles per hour and our gusts are going to be at 6 miles per hour so it's still not too windy at all. Our UV is going to be at 3 still and our sunrise is looking to be at 6.44 a.m. The humidity is going to be at 28%. And with a look at our seven-day forecast, up until Sunday, we're going to have sunny skies. Monday, that 30% chance moved into Monday as well as Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be mostly sunny skies. Thursday, we have a 20% chance of some rain. And Friday, once again, we have a 30% chance of rain. So it's going to be kind of <laughs> moist out there and rainy as well as cold. You can see Tuesday, we're going to go into the 40s even. And on Friday, our lowest low is going to be 20 degrees. So remember, your pets, plants, pipes, pumps, and pools, your five P's of prompt that I remembered now, and I hope that you do too. And today's worst weather was in Horsehead Lake, North Dakota, where they had harsh cold. Back to you. Thank you very much, Zach. Folks, this Sunday, December 11th, there will be two shows, 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, this is the Christmas Musical in the Valley. It will be held at the Pahrump Nugget Event Center. And uh, special guests are the Nevada Silver Tappers. Tickets are $15 for adults, $10 for seniors and students, and $25 for the whole family. However, we have been instructed to tell you that you will not be turned away, even if you can't afford to pay for the ticket. That's going to be a great show. This Saturday, Toys for Tots and a Can Do Food Drive will be hosted at Just Country Bar. For more information, you can call Richard at 727-5272. And early registration for softball is this Saturday at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension Master Gardeners is offering a free Christmas luminary stroll tomorrow night from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Demonstration Garden. Bring the family to see Santa and Mrs. Claus. And Monday is the Nathan Adelson Hospice Candlelight Memorial Service at 6 p.m. at the Desert Greens Clubhouse. This is to honor and remember your loved ones who have passed. For more information, call 751-6700. And you can tune into Monday night's newscast for a special Blue Man Group ticket giveaway. And folks, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And from everyone up here in the Hill of KPVM, we wish you a safe evening, a great weekend, and we'll see you here again on Monday night. Until then, good night, Brump.